Hi everybody, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about placenta encapsulation. This is something we have chosen to do for the birth of our third child. So for those of you who, are, who don't know about placenta encapsulation already, placenta encapsulation is basically where um, when your baby is born and then after your baby is born you deliver the placenta which is what has kept the baby alive in many ways from the time they were conceived. Anyways, the placenta has lots of properties in it and then once your placenta is delivered you send it to somebody who then dehydrates it, puts it into pill form, and then the mom takes the pills. So, you are essentially eating your placenta, which a lot of people think is disgusting. And honestly, I would think it was disgusting too, except for that um, in pill form, that doesn't really bother me. You know, all kinds of vitamins and things that we take in pill form all the time, and we don't even know where that stuff came from. I know this is... I'm healthy and natural and part of, you know, me and what has been helping my baby the whole time. So, it, for me, placenta encapsulation is not strange at all. But, I have never done it before. This is my first time uh, doing it. So, it is kind of new to me as well, although I've heard about it. And um, everyone I've ever known who's done it, which I have, like, probably seven or eight friends and family members who have tried it themselves and have nothing but amazing things to say. So, the benefits of placenta encapsulation, um, there's a lot of debates and could be several more benefits, but the ones that are most common benefits you can have with placenta encapsulation is that it's replenishing nutrients and hormones to your body after childbirth, increases your milk production, curbs postpartum depression, slows um, postpartum hemorrhage, and can also reduce stress, as well as it does contain oxytocin as well, which is what like puts you into labor and makes you have contractions. Well, after birth, your uterus continues to contract until it gets down to its normal size. So, um, the placenta encapsulation could actually help you get down to pre-pregnancy size even sooner. So that is another benefit that there is. Um, placenta encapsulation, the cost is very much by who does it and where you're located. For me, um, we're doing just the pills. Some people offer lots of other things like um, soups and all kinds of different ways that you can um, have the placenta encapsulation. But for me, all we're doing are pills and we're paying $150. And from a placenta, depending on the size, every woman is different, they can get like 80 to 120 pills from it. So that's what we're paying for. Uh, the first couple days you're taking probably six a day, um, then like four a day for the first week, and then after that two or one a day. So it'll last at least the first several weeks after having a baby. And then if you're like feeling really good afterwards, the lady who's doing mine said that we could keep it, put it in the freezer or whatever, and then whenever we start getting, um, whenever my cycles return and I start having periods again, um, they're great to take even during your period to help the same kinds of things, to help your hormones balance out, um, make your periods less heavy, um, less stress, less crankiness, all of that kind of stuff. So that is something that I will probably take advantage of if I'm feeling good. And with Josiah, I didn't do it at all and I felt pretty good. So if this really is as great as everyone I've ever heard of has said it is, then we're going to be doing really great. Uh, this time around with placenta encapsulation. So I'm really excited to see how that goes. 
as far as the process is what's gonna happen is after I have my baby um, my midwife and the lady who does the placenta encapsulation they're actually uh, friends they know each other they've worked together a lot so my midwife is willing to make the calls for me and she's gonna call and tell her hey you know she's close to giving birth or she just gave birth and come get it basically and so the lady will come get the placenta she will take it to her own house dehydrate it put it into pills and bring it back to me within 24 hours so that is awesome because you want to start taking them as soon as you can and so 24 hours at the most that she'll bring them back and I can start taking them. Uh, yeah, and so then it's just really easy. We don't have to deal with anything. We don't have to cook it ourselves. We don't have to deal with any smells because I have heard that it can stink a little. Um, we don't have to do any of that. We just have our baby. Our midwife basically takes care of everything. She might just pop in real quick to take it and that is about it. So I'm really excited to try placenta encapsulation. Uh, in the comments, leave your experiences if you have done it before and any questions you might have. Um, I'll probably do an update again after birth and everything on how I feel like it changed or affected what really went on, if it really did everything that I thought it was supposed to do. but. I really didn't see any negative things that could happen like very very rarely um, it could have adverse effects but it's like you know 5% of people ever so that's pretty slim and if that happens you just don't take them so <laughs> anyways uh, that is all you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time bye